Okay, slide 40. We've seen the volume to volume. We've seen how simple that is. So let's take it something, uh, look at something a little bit different. We see that STP, standard temperature pressure. It's saying how many grams of calcium carbonate, okay, so you need to know that this is calcium carbonate, must be decomposed to produce five liters of carbon dioxide. So let's do this. We're going to write down the given information first. Five liters of CO2. And then let's think for a second here about what we're trying to get to. We're trying to get to grams of CaCO3, which is calcium carbonate. What is the very first thing that we are going to do to get rid of liters of CO2? CO2, we are going to drop it down. And so now I'm at liters of CO2. Think about this. There's no way directly to go from liters of CO2 to grams of calcium carbonate. So we've got to find a way to transition here once again. And we know that 22.4 liters of CO2 represents one mole of CO2. Okay, and now let's drop down, didn't make enough boxes here, moles of CO2, and we're going to go ahead now and transition over to moles of calcium carbonate, and this is where we see that mole to mole ratio, and I'm sorry because I know that's really difficult to see. This is kind of a unique equation because it's already balanced. So one mole of CO2 to one mole of calcium carbonate. Again, think that's where we look at those coefficients and we see it's one to one. And last thing we're gonna do is drop down moles of calcium carbonate. And we know that one mole of calcium carbonate weighs how many grams? Well, this is where we've gotta come over here and say, okay, how much does calcium carbonate weigh? We know that calcium weighs 40, carbon weighs 12, oxygen weighs 16, but you need three of those, so that would give us a total of 48 for the oxygens. We've got eight and two, which is 10, four, five, six. So actually, kind of interesting, 100 grams even there. Let's go ahead and multiply through. Five times 100 divided by the 22.4, and we're gonna end up with roughly 22.3 grams of calcium carbonate, okay? So another way that once you understand stoichiometry and you understand how to get your units to cancel out, any of these problems become very simple.